Wizards are going to do wizard stuff, man. The Washington Wizards have just added Jonas Valanciunas for a three-year, $30 million deal. The Wizards, who just traded away Denny Avdia, who was only 23 years old on a very, very team-friendly deal, traded him away for Brogdon and a couple of picks. And the justification from a couple Wizards fans that were trying to make sense of it was, we want picks, we're rebuilding. And so in a rebuild, rather than go and get a young center who's improving, that was a lottery pick, that shot over 40% from three, that is pretty good defensively, like a Jalen Smith. Instead of doing that, we'll see if that happens. But so far, instead of doing that, they are spending their money on Jonas Valanciunas, a guy that does not cannot defend outside of the paint at all. He, he's one of the slower centers in the league. Not a rim protector. Can, has a little shooting touch, but can't really shoot threes. Doesn't really shoot them. Uh, and a guy whose numbers have been dropping pretty quickly the last few years. I mean, his three-point percentage is... Let me see. Let me make sure of that. Yeah, he, he shot 36% two years ago, but that has been dropping with everything else. Then 35% the season before this one, and then less than 31% this year. And he doesn't even take that many. But across the board, his, point, his points per game have gone from 18 to 12. Rebounds from 11 to 10 to 9. A little bit less than 9. And he's 32 years old. So, I mean, maybe on a terrible team, his numbers get turned back around. But this is not going to be an appreciating asset. This is a depreciating asset. So, for the Wizards, I just can't make any sense of this one. It would be one thing if you signed him on like a Drummond-type deal. Two years, $10 million deal. But for them, when there are young guys available in free agency, adding him doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, if you want to get a veteran to mix up the locker room, sure. But you still have Tyus Jones even there. So I And he's not like known as like the ultimate veteran, not that he's a bad guy or anything like that. But I haven't heard that he's like the best locker room guy. He's fixing all the Pelicans issues that they've had with Zion or anything like that. He's probably a good pro, a good locker room guy. But that's not necessarily like what he's known for in terms of being one of the best of those in the NBA. And so for them... It's just the Wizards do wizard stuff. It's like the Wizards, the Bulls, and the Raptors are like three teams that like there's arguably like the Hornets are probably the worst franchise. But those are three teams that just for the last five years, I can't even make any sense of like any move that they've made. And the Wizards are probably the worst when it comes to that. The Denny Avdia move, can't understand it for the life of me. This move right here being the move to open up free agency, they seem like a perfect team to take a swing on a Jalen Smith. But instead, they're going for a 32-year-old big. Don't know what their plans are. Are they trying to win? Are they trying to tank? What are, what is he? Ex what do they want him to come in and do? He's not a floor-spacing big. Like I said, he doesn't really shoot threes. He doesn't defend. What do, are they hoping to get from him? Do they want to play through him in the post? Uh, I don't understand it. But let me know what y'all think. Can y'all make more sense of it than me? Uh, maybe somebody else uh, likes this, this signing more than I do. Let me know. Drop a comment, hit that like, and subscribe. Please? Yes, sir.